From the old way to today. Changing the way we manage money in the digital age. Intuit is directing your dollars from running a business to paying your taxes. Can the stock mint you profits? Or is the competition too taxing? What do you do with the stock of Intuit, INTU, the company that assists millions of Americans in filing their taxes every year with TurboTax, as well as helping businesses manage their accounting with QuickBooks? And that's an incredibly fast growing product. Intuit has been taking share and taking names and stocks up a nice 6% since we last recommended it on tax day. That said, it's been cooling off late. Last time Intuit reported it near the end of August, management gave cautious guidance for the next quarter, even as their actual quarterly results were fantastic. So can the company keep delivering the kind of growth that investors want or we need to be concerned? Let's dig deeper with Brad Smith, the chairman and CEO of Intuit, get a better chance, get a better sense of what the company's doing and what's going on. Mr. Smith, welcome back to Man Money. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me. Right, first, I just got to say, taxes have never been sexier. They are in the news like <laughs> I've never seen it. Do these stories intrigue you or just about giant losses and how they're carried forward by someone running for president? You know, we have seen a lot in three decades when it comes to taxes, <laughs> yeah. and so I will simply say it's kind of hard to surprise us these days. Fair enough. Yeah. I think that's absolutely true. Now, one of the things that, that obviously, now, it's a big business real estate from, from Mr. Trump. One of the things I found that's so uh, refreshing about what you do is I initially thought of you as, as kind of a desktop configuration mm -hmm. tax company. It seems like now you are the evener of the odds for small business. You're trying to get that odds from 50% that fail over, over five year period to, to lower than that. That really seems to be your goal now. That is. And, Jim, I have to tell you, we're very proud of having that as a mission. You know, that is the backbone of the economy, whether it's the U.S. economy or the world's economy, and the odds are stacked against them. But we've seen a big shift to the cloud. Two years ago, about a third of small businesses had adopted the cloud. Now it's 62 percent. Right. And we've seen that same tipping point, and that is the great equalizer. You can do a lot of things with machine learning, with using data, the ability to connect all your different apps and do it seamlessly through the cloud. And we're seeing real success for small businesses. Well, I'll tell you, we use it at Bar San Miguel. But we wouldn't Thank know how you. to do it otherwise. And I'm kind of trying to figure out, how do you do it otherwise? We just said, let's just do it from the start. Well, you know, it's crazy. About 40% of small businesses are still paper and pencil, shoe boxes, and Excel spreadsheets. And so there's a much easier way to do it. In fact, you don't even have to know accounting, as you know, using no, QuickBooks. Don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, you send an invoice, you accept the payment, and everything happens for you. Well, it's one of the things that I think that you do besides even the odds, but maybe it does even the odds, is you save time. Yes. The, and people don't have time. You're creating time for businesses. It is. And, you know, small businesses want to focus on the business that they started. They want to work with their customers. They want to have the ability to make the place look the way they want it to look. They don't right. want to have to deal with what would historically be back office functions. So what we've done now is we've embedded in this into your natural workflow. So just accept the payment. Just go ahead and do your inventory, and then everything will happen for you in the back end. Accounting basically goes away. It disappears. Now, but you are still best friends and want to win the hearts and minds of accounts. Absolutely. Yeah, they're the critical success factor for small businesses. We talked about that one out of two who fail right. in the first five yeah. years. The actual odds of success go up 89% if they work with an accountant. So what we have to do is not only help their small business clients succeed, we want to save them time. And you know if you use QuickBooks and then you have your accountant do your taxes, we save two hours for every return then an accountant simply downloads the data out of QuickBooks and into their tax software. Well, in fairness, that's how we found you. I mean, yeah, well, I went good. to my accountant, I said, I want to do it. And he said, we need QuickBooks. I don't want you touching it. Because we don't know how to do it. And then we screw it up, and then we get in trouble. Right. That's it. And then we don't have the time for that. Now, uh, you have a great analogy in your unbelievably good cor corporate analyst day where you even talk about dissatisfaction with what yes. you're doing. But yeah. you talk about how do you want for individuals, uh, you want a, m a mowed lawn, but you don't necessarily want to mow the lawn, right? Right, right. Well, you know, you have two different groups out there, whether it's taxes or it's accounting or it's payroll. There's a group who, if they knew there was a tool available that made it simple, they would want to be empowered and do it themselves and save money. Right. There's another group that, like the lawnmower analogy, I know how to push a lawnmower. I suspect you know how to push a lawnmower, yes, but come Saturday, I'm going to pay the neighborhood kid to mow the lawn because I want to spend time with my daughters. Right. And those are called the can't be bothered. And so we want to make sure that we provide solutions for those people as well. It may not be a do-it-yourself solution. It may be through an accountant. Okay. Now, I did want to ask because I thought you were so conservative. Yeah, I was upset. I said, oh, geez, because I think you're going to do it because your goal is to grow revenue. 10% organically. Yes. And you're going to meet that goal, aren't you? You know what? Our long-term history has been that we're able to achieve double-digit right. growth. Right now, we came out of this last year with the wind at our backs. Yes, we gave guidance did. of 79%. I know right now a lot of people would like to see that be a double-digit number, and we'll have to see how the year plays but out. But you are taking share. I mean, it's very yes, clear that the tax store model seems to be old. 
Well, I will say this. There has been a secular trend for 10 years to do-it-yourself solutions. Right. You now have the millennials who grew up with smartphones in the palm of their hand. Right. They're able to take pictures of everything and get their taxes done. And so that's been powering the do-it-yourself solution. And this year we picked up three points of share. We now are at a 65 share in TurboTax. And what's my cost if I just want to use you guys? Well, for 70%, it's free. <laughs> I just so we should have that because this is the best pre this is the best <laughs> premium model I've ever seen, right? I mean, you yeah. do want upsell, but if if yes. the person just wants to use you, they can get you for free. Absolutely. When you think about the people who live paycheck to paycheck, or the people coming right out of college that have student loans, why not let them do their taxes for free? And then as they get more success, their taxes become more complex, and we'll have opportunities over time to earn a paid relationship. But let's help them when they need us right now. And yet, if you have 45 million, there's more people. There's more accounts. That you you haven't won everybody. You can win. That's right. 150 million people filing taxes. We only have 45 million right now, so we have a lot of opportunity well, for growth. I, th I tell you, I thought that the quarter was great. I think that you guys are, are doing a fantastic job. We're sticking with you. Brad Smith, Chairman CEO of Intuit. This company has a lot going for it, a lot of momentum. Mad Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.